Well, that was much more difficult than anticipated. <laughs> that route that, that rice man took us was just painful. So many thorn bushes and my legs. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day five of the Tuk Tuk tournament. So I just checked out the leaderboard this morning and we're still number one, we're still up there, we're still going hard, we're still going strong, but not by much. But we have a special plan up our sleeve today to put us ahead of the game, and that plan is a secret potion. So throughout the whole tournament, we have one potion we can have, and if we drink that potion at the start of any day, we have double points for the whole entire day with each quest we do. And today, we're gonna to choose to take that potion because we have a set route going along the whole coast, um, heading east, and it's probably like 125 kilometers we gotta go, but we figured that this is gonna be the best way to, to have the potion because there is so many quests along the way. And we added it all up, and with the potion, we should at least get 200 points by the end of today, but it, it's going to be a full-on day because it's a long way. Um, it's 6 a.m. now. We're going to head off shortly and begin that quest. And also, we've decided because we still have no side mirror, so we've decided to leave that to fix that um, sort of mid-party way. So we'll get that sorted in a couple more days because we're doing pretty well with just one mirror. But what are we waiting for? Let's go on that quest. Morning, sunshine. Ready? Only 7 a.m. and I already have to go for a swim. Anything for those gems, baby. All right, killed two birds with one stone while I was going for a swim. Beautiful old Martin over here. Helping clean up the beach. Yeah. We're almost full. We're full. We're full. How about that? Alright, so literally just up from that beach I had to swim at. It was just down the road and I have to swim at a natural seawater pool. Wow, look at those waves! Alright, let's go for another swim. How amazing is this thing? It's huge. See, I, f I feel like I wouldn't even be able to find places like this 
without the Tuk Tuk tournament. <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> So it's currently 9am right now and I am up to beach number three for a swim. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of beaches around these areas where I have to swim. We found ourselves one of the Pagio trucks, or whatever they are, truck tuk tuk. Man's giving it a drive. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, he's off. He's off. <laughs> Not a bad place for a quick local breakfast. Some would say this would be feast fit for kings. Alright, so we're at beach number four for today where we have to swim in. And Martin is finally volunteering to go for a swim. Ready for a surf, Martin? Yeah, man. Have you ever been surfing before? Once. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what the fuck? Where are you heading? Right. Make sure the number's facing me. Now I'm ready. Right. Go, go, go! Oh, you got to move on! Alright, we're at our next quest destination. This is Island Temple. And check how big this temple is on the island! It is! It's, it's just a little shack. It's, it's very small. <laughs> All right, that's that one sorted. Times are ticking on to the next quest. Let's go. All right, so we're at our next spot. We're just currently walking through a rice field because we have to get a photo with one of the workers on the rice paddy. Um, but he's so far away, we saw him. He's like out in the distance. Oh, where do we go? Oh, there's a path here. He's out in the distance there. I think, oh, there he is. I think he's with the cows. So we'll go get a photo with him. And there'll be six gems all up. Ah, that hurt. <laughs> oh my god, this is muddy. <laughs> oh, yuck. I did not realize it was going to be this difficult. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> it's so deep in mud. And the guy keeps walking away from us. Come back. Are you handling the muddy swamps? Struggling. <laughs> hey there. Can we get photo? 
Photo with you. All right, so the local rice man. Oh God, this is taking us back to the road. Sort of a better way, but it's not really a very good way because there's extremely spiky things through here and we don't have any shoes. We're just getting further away from the road. <laughs> How are you going back there, mate? Ah. 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 We're in pain. <laughs> Well, that was much more difficult than anticipated. <laughs> that route that, that rice man took us was just painful. So many thorn bushes and my legs. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> my legs are extremely itchy right now. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm covered in mud. But we got the gems. We got the six gems, so that's all that matters. Well, aren't these cool hands? Look at this! What? <laughs> not, gay, not gay at all. <laughs> uh, we seem to have a better road blockage here. What's going on? Oh, thanks, guys. All right, so we come to this spot. This is a uh, hot spring, but they charge kind of ridiculous price for foreigners. For locals, it's 60 rupee. For foreigners, it's 500. <laughs> so, I, only one of us just went in and did it, and Martin did it. He said it was quite an interesting experience, mate. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, pushed some water over your head. I nearly jumped in. Yeah. <laughs> we're sitting, everyone's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you literally just scooped up some water and just pour it over your head. Can't even jump in. <laughs> What, what kind of spa is that if you can't even jump in after we pay 500? What? Thank you, mate. You we're in. Right, so this next quest was a very interesting one. And it is take a photo in the stadium. And here we are. It was a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Hello. Hello. Can I go this way? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yep. Go. Right. Hey, Jan. Hello. Hello. How are you? We're just coming up onto an international airport at the moment, and there is security guards everywhere. Like they're very strict and thorough, but they're like, "Yeah, you're fine. You can go through." So, we're just, all we need to do is just go to the airport, go to this airport and just take a photo and go. So, sounds easy enough. Why is this like empty, this airport? It's like we're coming up to a, um, to a big resort. I've never been to an airport where it's so dead. Look who it is! Can we pick another one up? It's the cookie <laughs> mocha! <Yeah. laughs> oh wow, I keep, I keep fucking yeah. I keep messing I up the cookie. You're, you're gonna try to hit us again, guys. <laughs> oh, I hit, it's extreme. Alright, good luck. God damn! Looks like we have ourselves a dam. Who hey. we got here? Hey, hey fellas! There you go. So we just dropped by that fuel station to grab some fuel because we are like almost dead empty again. But the fuel station had no fuel. They they had nothing. So we've there's another one six minutes up the road. We should just make it just. Gotta get that fuel station, we're running low! Yeah boy! Made it! Hopefully this fuel station actually has fuel. <laughs> Alright, so we've almost gotten every single quest that we wanted to complete today. We've just got two more to do, but we're <laughs> rushing for time because we get the double points within um, the daylight time. So when that sun sets, I don't think we're going to get the double points. So I think we're just, just going to squeeze it out. Oh, I'm going to make it. Right, TA, so we have made it to our another accommodation for tonight. 
We actually scored it pretty good with this one. It's quite a big room, and it was for fifteen hundred for both of, but um, for both of us. So it's very cheap. And even though our challenges have finished for today, our day never really ends there because we have to um, continue sort of sorting out and planning what we're going to do for the next day. So Martin's onto that over there. And I am currently just finishing up on one of my little videos. So you can get points for having a story of the day um, and just uploading that. You get points for doing a story and the first, oh, and the best three stories gets another five points. Um, so the first day I won, obviously. <laughs> but I've just been making these little videos every day. Um, and it is quite tiring. It's 9 p.m. now, <laughs> but I feel like we did pretty good today. Um, Martin was just going over all our points, and because they're doubled, I think we, what'd you say, we would have had about 200? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we would have had about 200 for the day. So, 240. We, two, 240 for the day. So, we don't know exactly how much we got on our leaderboard because they got to keep updating the app. Um, but we're still in lead. We're still in lead. That's all that matters. And with that note, uh, we will see you tomorrow for day six of the Tuk Tuk tournament. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and see you later. Bye.